what's going on everybody Chris here from Project Option and welcome to the first video in the Option Greeks series so if you're not familiar with the Option Greeks yet the Option Greeks are used by options traders to assess the various risks that their positions are exposed to so in this video we're going to talk about Delta which is the Option Greek that represents an options directional risk so what is an options delta? Well, delta is the expected change of an options price relative to $1 movements in the underlying stock price. Now, underlying is just the stock that the option is traded against. So if you're trading Apple options, the underlying is Apple. So since delta represents the expected change of an options price relative to price changes in the stock, an options delta also represents the options directional risk. So let's go through some examples to show you how delta actually translates to expected option price changes relative to $1 changes in the stock price. So first, let's start with this top call that is initially $5. Now let's say that call has a delta of positive 0.75. Now that positive delta indicates that the options price is expected to rise with the stock price and fall with the stock price. So for example, if the stock price rises $1, a delta of 0.75 indicates that that $5 option is expected to be worth $5.75. Now, after a $1 decrease in the share price, that positive 0.75 delta translates to an expected option price of $5 minus the delta of 0.75, which means that that $5 option is expected to be worth $4.25 after a $1 decrease in the share price. Now if we go to the puts, we'll notice that they have negative deltas. Now a negative delta indicates that the options price is expected to fall when the stock rises and the options price is expected to rise when the stock price falls. So for example, this $3 call option has a delta of negative 0.25. If the, option, if the stock price rises by $1, that $3 option is expected to fall by $0.25 cents to $2.75. On the other hand, if the stock price falls by $1, that $3 option is expected to increase in price by $0.25 cents to $3.25. So all you have to do to estimate an options price for a $1 share increase is add the options delta to its price. On the other hand, to estimate an options price after a $1 share decrease, you can subtract the options delta from its price. So to build on what we just talked about on the previous slide, Let's talk about the difference between call deltas and put deltas. So at the top here, we have a simple number line between negative one and positive one. Now, put deltas will always be negative. So put deltas will range from negative one to zero, and call option deltas will range from zero to positive one. Now that means that puts are expected to rise in value when the stock price falls, and puts are expected to fall in value when the stock price increases. Now on the other hand, call options have a positive delta, which means that calls increase in value when the stock price rises and fall in value when the stock price decreases. So a positive delta means that the options price moves with the stock price, and a negative delta means that the options price moves inversely with the stock price. So instead of boring you to death with the details, let's go ahead and look at some actual options that actually traded in the market and demonstrate to you the concept of positive and negative deltas. So in this first example, we're going to look at call price changes versus the stock price changes. So as you know, a call option has positive delta, which means that the call options price is expected to rise and fall with the stock price. Now, in this visual example, we can clearly see that when the stock price falls, the call price falls, and when the stock price rises, the call price also rises. So this visual is just demonstrating to you that a call option's positive delta means that the call option rises and falls with the stock price. Now in this example, we're looking at the same exact time period, except we're looking at a put options price changes versus changes in the stock price. So as you know, a put option has negative delta, which means the put options price is going to move inversely with the stock price. So as we can see here, when the stock price falls, the put price increases, and when the stock price rises, the put price decreases. So it's just a simple inverse relationship because the put option has a negative delta. 
So let's get a little more specific and talk about how to use delta to gauge directional risk. So consider the following call options. So the first call option has a price of $10 and its delta is 0.95. So that means after a $1 share increase, the $10 option is expected to rise by 95 cents to 10.95. After a $1 share decrease, the $10 option is expected to fall by 95 cents to 9.05. Now, Let's look at the other option that is worth $1 and has a delta of 0 0.10. That $1 option is expected to increase by $0.10 cents when the share price rises by $1 and is expected to decrease by $0.10 cents when the share price falls by $1. So as we can see here, the call option with the higher delta is expected to fluctuate more in price when the stock price changes by the same amount. So therefore, Options with larger delta values are going to have more directional risk because the option's price is expected to fluctuate more with each $1 change in the underlying. So let's build on what we just talked about by visualizing the price changes of three different call options with varying deltas. So in this chart, we're looking at the S&P 500 ETF, which is the ticker symbol SPY. Now in the bottom part of this chart, we're looking at three different SPY call options with varying initial deltas. So the green line is a 0.75 delta call, the yellow line is a 0.5 delta call, and the, the blue line is a 0.25 delta call. So as we can see here, it's very clear that the 0.75 delta call is the most sensitive to changes in the stock price, whereas the 0.25 delta call is much less sensitive to those same changes in the stock price. So if we're talking about one single option contract, the closer the delta is to zero, the less sensitive the option is to changes in the stock price. However, if we're looking at a call option, the closer the call's delta is to plus one, the closer that position is to representing owning 100 shares of stock. Now that's because a delta of plus one means the options price is expected to increase by $1 for each $1 increase in the stock price. If you own 100 shares of stock, a $1 increase results in a P&L of plus $100. If you own one call option, if that call option increases by $1, the profit on that trade is plus $100, just like owning 100 shares of stock. So the bottom line is that with a call option, the closer the delta is to plus one, the closer that call option is to being a long share equivalent. Now let's look at the same exact time period and the same exact stock, except this time we'll look at varying delta put options. So in this case, we're looking at put options with initial delta values of negative 0.75, negative 0.50, and negative 0.25. So as we can see here, all of these puts have an inverse relationship with the stock price because they have negative deltas. More specifically, the negative 0.75 delta put option is the most sensitive to changes in the stock price. On the other hand, the negative 0.25 delta put option has the least sensitive price changes relative to movements in the stock price. So more specifically, put options with deltas closer to negative 1 represent positions that are just like shorting 100 shares of stock per put option. So for example, if you're short 100 shares of stock and the stock price decreases by $1, the profit on your short stock position is $100. Now, if instead you owned a put option with a delta of negative one, that put option's price is expected to increase by $1 when the stock price decreases by $1. So if you own a put option that increases by $1, the profit on that position will be plus $100. So all this means is that put options with deltas closer to negative one act like short stock positions in that their, their price changes will be $1 for each $1 change in the stock price in the opposite direction. So if the stock price decreases by $1, the put price will increase by $1, and that is essentially the same thing as shorting 100 shares of stock. So the last thing we'll talk about here is the relationship between an option's strike price and its delta, as an option strike price can help explain its general delta level. So an in-the-money call will have a delta between 0.5 and plus 1, and an in-the-money put will have a delta between negative 0.5 and negative 1. At-the-money options are a little easier. So an at-the-money call will have a delta near plus 0.5, and an at-the-money put will have a delta near negative 0.5. Now lastly, out-of-the-money options are less sensitive. So 
out of the money calls have deltas between 0 and 0 0.5, while out of the money puts have deltas between 0 and negative 0.5. So this last slide here is just the previous table in visual format. So as we can see here, in the money calls have deltas closer to plus one, where out of the money calls have deltas closer to zero, and in the money puts have deltas closer to negative one, and out of the money puts have deltas closer to zero. So essentially, at lower and lower strike prices, calls are deeper in the money and have deltas closer to plus one, and puts are further out of the money and have deltas closer to zero. Now at higher and higher strike prices, call options are out of the money with deltas closer to zero, and put options are more in the money with deltas closer to negative one. So let's go ahead and quickly recap the main concepts that you've learned from this video. So first, delta represents an option's expected price change relative to changes in the stock price, and therefore delta represents an option's directional risk or directional exposure. Call options have positive deltas, which means that call option prices are expected to increase when the stock price rises and decrease when the stock price falls. Put options, on the other hand, have negative deltas, which means that their prices are expected to fall when the stock price increases and rise when the stock price decreases. Now, in the money options have deltas closer to plus or minus one and are more sensitive to changes in the share price. So, in the money options with deltas closer to plus or minus one, are more equivalent to long or short stock positions of 100 shares. At the money options have deltas closer to plus or minus 0.5, which translates to option price sensitivity that is approximately 50% of the stock price changes. Now, out of the money options have deltas closer to zero and are less sensitive to shifts in the share price. So if you're looking for a lot of directional exposure, maybe you want to trade in the money options. If you're looking for medium directional exposure, maybe you trade at the money options. And if you don't want as much directional exposure initially, you can trade out of the money options. Well, thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you learned a lot about measuring an options directional risk with Delta. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive all of our new videos as we come out with them.